now recording. Everybody off mute. Everybody off mute. Even me? Everybody, yeah, I want to get your claps on this. Everybody off mute. Dora, you can sing along if you want. <laughs> or you can clap. All right. So uh, let's see here. <laughs> Bella, you're going to start. Ready? Yep. Just do the best you can. It's going to be a mess, but it'll be a fun, fabulous mess. Here we go. A Zoom mess. Yes, we'll blame it all on Zoom. When this is over, we play this, we're going to say, that was Zoom. Otherwise, oh, it was um, perfect. So are we playing everything at the same time? Yeah, all of you playing okay. at the same time. It's now being recorded for posterity. Everybody is off of their mute. Here we go. Mr. Brian, um, are you going to conduct? Yeah, but it won't matter. Okay. <laughs> is it video recordings? Can I turn my camera off? No, no, here we go. It's okay. Here we go. One, a two, a one, two, three. <sighs> You are your own best teacher. That's one of our leading notes. It's super important, and especially now. You are your own best. You are your own best. You are your own best teacher. The pandemic has been life changing, like turned the whole world upside down. The master class is kind of a self teach class. There are certain things that only you can teach yourself. And master class has also been a really big help for mentoring for me. When you present in front of your peers, they're going to give you constructive criticism, which you're going to take and then um, apply to your playing. It allows for more students to communicate with each other. You have to listen and then you have to give your feedback. There was nothing like, oh, I don't really have anything to say. Like, there's always something you can you say. Me, we all agree. Music is fun for everyone. We help one another. My name is Julian. My name is Anna Paula. My name is Hattie Graham. Hi, my name is Ariel. My name is Miriam. I'm 13 years old. I have been with orchestra for, I think, around 9 to 10 years. 8 years, I think. I've been with orchestra for 4 years. Uh, I've been playing the violin. I play the flute. Uh, I play the violin and I also mentor uh, younger violinists. Orchestra is a charitable social development program that empowers kids from underserved areas of Ottawa and builds community through the universal language of music. Orchestra continues to reach these communities through its innovative orchestra at home online programming, including the wonderful master classes. So the master class is a uh, student led class. We do warm ups, stretches all together. We share kind of the social time at the beginning of class and some stretching and breathing warm up. Can we stretch above our heads? Everyone stand up. Again, so much sitting in our lives, so much computer time. Ooh, I like what Miss Kiana's doing. That looks very comfortable. Oh, one, two, three, let's. <laughs> You're able to see the faces of all your um, colleagues and your teachers and instead of being in a class where you only see the back of your your colleague and then we end up splitting off into like our sections like our winds and our strings and we play for each other like one person at a time and we listen <laughs> started the masterclass last summer it was new to everybody new to the students and new to the staff but it was an opportunity to to add another class to the um the orchestra at home summer programming last summer and one of the wonderful things about orchestra and the orchestra family is th the whole idea of it being kid powered these um Students really were on board from day one, jumped right in. They helped us de uh, develop a lot of the material, a lot of the uh, the approach that we've taken through trial and error, but also um, 
they were always there to give us that feedback. It's basically a place where students can give each other feedback to improve our playing. In the end, we give some feedback and how they can improve or how or how well they have been playing this piece. We are gonna take that feedback and uh, like apply it to our playing just to become like our own teacher. Like everything in like evolves around responsibility. If you're not responsible, you can't really commit to that kind of thing. Ezekiel. Take it away for us, please and thank you. And everybody get your pencils and get ready to, uh, to, uh, to, to make your comments. Everybody comments, remember. Internet at first was just really bad. At the beginning, it used to be kind of messy. <laughs> now, recording this, okay. So uh, we have a bunch of friendly faces and then a couple of people whose cameras don't work, that's okay. It's definitely more difficult here on Zoom, especially with the tech stuff and uh, not being able to hear each other properly. You can't do what we normally would do. You know, you can't pull an orchestra together. Tech glitches are always there. Uh, Jaden, Jaden, where did you guys go? You disappeared. We lost our internet. Oh, okay, okay, good. Let's see. Okay. But as time went on, like up to now, I, it's improved very much, like a lot. Right now, we run the masterclass in a more organized way. So we've really expanded from a, both from a listening point of view, the things that they are able to listen for critically in a piece, also the amount of pieces they play. You know, from the performance perspective, it worked perfectly. I think the, you know, the, the masterclass concept as devised and as developed um, work really, really well in the virtual context. The big thing is the coming together of the winds and the strings. Now in the master class, we also have joint master classes. We've actually combined our classes in a single Zoom call. We would never ever get to play with the strings. And now we've all come like together. It's like nice to see different perspectives. We have all kinds of instruments like flutes, clarinets. There's wind, brass, violin, strings. No saxophones though. Instead of just hearing the opinions of um, other string students, you get to hear the opinions of wins. You get uh, perspectives that you'd never get from a string student. I don't know if we're like string players, but like us, like wins, we talk with like our eyebrows. I don't know if like you guys do that or not. So I, it caused me to think more critically and like listen. I think more attentively because they're different instruments and I, I might have to think of something else to say. I think maybe the tempo could be a little bit faster, but... But getting feedback, constructive criticism from maybe a flute player, they'll see my playing in a whole different perspective. I think each each section has its unique, you know, style. And for us to truly like discover our love for music, I think we need to experience from each section. And so hearing each other one by one, it's really awesome. Mm -hmm. technical things that had improved. Personal growth is always happening. It's always there. At the beginning, I was really nervous. At first, I was really nervous because I didn't want to play in front of people. At the start of master class, every time I presented my piece in front of the class, I was always shaking, you know, my hands were sweaty. Everyone grew and developed skills and got better at playing. With the help of orchestra, I was, I gained a lot of uh, social skills. Prior to the master class, I wasn't the most social individual, but 
having other uh, students be in the same position as me was uh, providing me with some comfort and some confidence. I, a skill I've gained is definitely confidence. Confidence is something that you need for your everyday life. How I can help other people and giving fit feedback and like what they can do to fix their playing or make their playing better, I guess would obviously help a lot. Great, everybody's clapping, can you tell? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think you are your own best teacher really focuses on pushing you to become a slightly better version of yourself. Yeah. Um, can you give us a little self-reflection? So something that you thought went really well, something that you'd like to work on? Um, so high notes, three out of 10, horrible, really squeaky. Um, jumps, again, like two out of 10, and I'm being generous. Like at that point, that is like, that is eesh. Anyways, Focus is uh, quite yeah. successful at uh, developing the younger generations. Number one, what what do you need to always give more of, Josh? Air. Air. Yeah. Air and breathing, which is really hard if you're cold. Uh, my overall confidence was was greatly boosted because because of of our kids, because I was able to communicate with others. I was able to see that other people were had the same background as me. Other people had um, the same issues that I encountered when I first came to Canada, and that brings comfort to anyone, basically. Over the year, I find that I'm way more comfortable presenting um, in front of my peers and my classmates. We were really shy. We didn't really want to like hurt people's feelings. Uh, I mean, it's pretty good. I don't really know how to like pick out um, comments and give you feedback. But as time went on, we realized that it's a normal thing and we have to like help people recognize their errors. I think personally that the tempo didn't really fit like uh, the song. So maybe just slow it down a bit. Oh, he needed to obviously practice the piece at a slower speed before he picks up to a faster speed. Uh, in terms of breath, I I think I noticed that you were you ran out of breath a couple of times when you were playing, and um, that could be due to the slurs. pandemic I think I adapted a lot there's been a lot of changes like I didn't know it was going to be extended this long something really that I really missed was just going to school normally like playing with my friends now you're more dependent on yourself when I look at myself at the beginning of the pandemic I see lots and lots of changes that I've gone through <laughs> orchestra has been super helpful throughout the pandemic They've helped us students go through so much. It's created a much wider sense of community and family. Uh, I really enjoyed listening from both the uh, the winds and the strings. I mean, I really feel her pain. <laughs> it must be much harder because the violin is just like it's way smaller than a cello. Is, is anything on fire? Are we good? I think Jason's on fire. His piece was amazing. <laughs> so oh, really. When I started master class, it was it, I felt really good because it was that one place where I could make a mistake and I wouldn't be judged. So I think that really helped me to grow as a person. I've gained the ability to receive and to give constructive criticism, which is really, really helpful. Um, if I'm receiving it maybe from a future boss, he's giving me some tips. Or maybe I'm the boss. That would be awesome. I was um, uh, participating more in not only in the master class, but this is also outside of the, the music. So in school and in uh, other extracurricular activities that I have, I'm certain that a lot of the skills that I'm about to develop and I have already developed with orchestra are going to take me way beyond, um, uh, you know, just orchestra. I think how, how those skills might help me in my future career may be like, probably the listening, yeah, teamwork. 
skills I've learned, like determination. University is going to be really important. There's going to be some some hard stuff to do. And so just got to push through like the hard pieces we played in master class. You know, Orchestra at Home, as I've said earlier, like, gave a lot of opportunities for people to kind of excel, right, in difficult circumstances. And, and I think the master class, just the way that it was designed and the way that folks interacted within the master class really kind of heightened that ability to excel. Someone in the group who has a very, very special announcement to make and some very good news that he would like to share. So Ezekiel, can I turn the, uh, the floor over to you? And you can tell us what's new, what's going on. Yeah, so I got accepted into Canterbury High School. And oh, I want to thank you guys because you really helped me with this master class, being able to give me feedback on my piece so I can improve it. I definitely think that there's a future for masterclass online or in person. I feel like in, per in person, you can really take more on the details and how you can help those people. I think in, when we're in person, we'll be kind of like really actually having to engage more. And I think listening to it properly and not over Zoom will be much better <laughs> because uh, you can actually hear people. I think we need to keep it going because it's what really made me um, love the flute. I mean, um, I started playing the flute four years ago, but I didn't really start playing the flute until when until I uh, joined master class. Orchestra really makes me feel like home. I think that's like the most beautiful thing here. Like throughout the years I've been with orchestra, I've seen my stu like other students and my friends evolve as becoming finding a new passion for themselves in music. When I first came to Canada, um, again, like I've I mentioned, I, I wasn't the most outgoing person. I was rather shy. I'm a social butterfly, I guess. And so seeing people and connecting people with people is important. And they are so supportive, the staff, the students, they show you all the support and love there is in the world. So I just really hope that everybody out there would know that. And music just adds that extra level of depth. In the masterclass, everybody gets to play every week. Everybody gets to participate every week. And it's, it's one of the classes beyond private lessons that really makes you feel that you're part of a big picture. I wasn't born in Canada. I came in 2013. My interactions with people are, are very different than how I interact in my country. And um, music basically is the only I think it's one of the few languages that anybody can speak. Music, even from back home, was something I was very, very passionate about. And our kids are providing me with the, with the opportunity to be able to communicate with others uh, in a language that we can all basically understand.